Hi Libra and welcome to my channel. I'm Miss Rose and this is Miss Rose Tarot and today we're going to have a look at the second reading for February for you Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. Let's go. Let's see what pops out for you. Don't forget Libra, these are free general tarot readings. Some of the messages may resonate, some of them may not. If you feel like you need any more information, you can always check out the reading of your moon, your Venus and your rising sign. Also, please comment, like and subscribe if you want to see more of moi. <laughs> I'm uploading bi-weekly tarot readings, the occasional pick a card reading and collective love messages. Okay, and um, one last thing before we start here with the first row. Uh, make sure to stay tuned until the end of the reading, okay? We're going to check out Oracle cards and also love Oracle cards. So whether you're single or in a relationship, I will check out some energies for you, okay? All right, so we have the Three of Swords, the Moon, the Queen of Wands in reverse, Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I do see a bit of a story here, right? Mm. Let me just say that, Libra, or let me just say this. Mm. For lots of you, this is going to be about a romantic context here, okay? For others of you, it might not, okay? So there could be a family member or a friend that made you feel this way, okay? If, if it's not about a romantic situation, you can just take out the romantic context. But I think for lots of you, it is. So we have the Three of Swords, which is the heartbreak card, can sometimes be an indication of a third party situation here as well. We have the moon. Uh, which is Pisces energy, very spiritual energy. But, you know, the thing about the moon is we don't see the things as they are or there, there are things hidden beneath the surface. And the Queen of Wands in reverse, and I feel like this is your energy, Libra, okay? Maybe right now, maybe this has already happened for some of y'all. You don't really feel good. You don't really feel much like yourself lately. Maybe, you know... Um, your spree is missing, the energy is lacking, okay, if you feel like that. I can definitely assure you right now, even though we don't have all the tarot cards yet, that you will feel better, okay? And if you feel like there's no stability in your life or you are missing that, or you feel like things are falling apart, it's coming back, definitely, big time, okay? So that this is what I wanted to tell you right away. So there could have been a person that was quite secretive, Maybe they were keeping the truth away from you and you found out and kind of crushed you for some of you here with the Three of Swords, okay? You were maybe heartbroken for a while, but I think things are really changing for you. Four of Wands is one of my most favorite cards from the main minor Akarna. I want to say major and it's minor, of course. <laughs> and it's like 11-11. It is the stability, the stable foundation, and you have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is beautiful earth energy. And this is the new chapter in your life. Okay, so there's definitely stability and commitment coming. Whether you want to repair the um, relationship with this person or if you're moving on, I can definitely see there is committed energy coming. There is stability coming for you guys. Okay, let me check out these cards. Yeah. Look at that. Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. Eight of Crystals, which is Wands, of course. And the Six of Wands. There's so much fire energy, so much passion here. Eight of Swords. Could be that you have been feeling trapped a little bit, okay? In this energy, in this uh, lack of energy, lack of stability, okay? Maybe you were like a bit depressed, but I can definitely see you're going to move forward. Seven of Wands here, you felt like you needed to defend yourself a lot here, okay? So maybe you were accused of things, but things are going to be changing really, really fast. The Eight of Wands and the Six of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a very fast moving energy, so changes are going to happen very, very rapidly. And the Six of Wands is the card for success. Oh yeah, look at that. Queen of Pentacles, the King of Wands, and we have the Nine of Wands. Oh wow, so many Wands. This is crazy, guys. So definitely you can let your guards down, okay? The worst is over. <laughs> Literally, like the worst is over, guys. Nine of Wands. It's fine to let your guards down a little bit. The King of Wands showing up here, which, which is very interesting, okay? So I can definitely see that there is maybe a new person coming in for some of y'all, okay? So 
a fire sign could be Leo Sag, Aries coming into your life. Well, this is a person returning. And I mean this person, okay? And I do see you here as the Queen of Pentacles. You could have some major earth placements, Libra, some um, Virgo, C Capricorn, and Taurus, okay? Maybe you have those placements. Doesn't have to be. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles energy, we do have a very nurturing energy, grounded energy, also like abundant energy here, okay? So I can see that you're going to feel better really, really soon, okay? So I'm just curious if this is a past person coming back or if there's an, another person here for you guys. Okay, let me see. Page of Wands and the Hanged One. I do see for lots of you, this could be a brand new person here, but there was a delay because you have been in this Eight of Swords and this trapped energy. But I think this is very fresh energy coming into your life. Somebody who's going to be inspiring, who's going to take the action towards you, treat you the way that you deserve, okay? Let me check out some general oracle cards for you. Some important energies. Oh yeah, fire energy. We can see that. Okay, this is my own oracle deck. I made this for my channel and they have very nice like general messages. So trust your intuition, your feelings about this. All right. So for some of you, you're going to find out about this moon situation here. Okay, for others of you, this has already happened. And for some of you, you can already feel this and you're right about it, right? You are protected. Okay, even if it doesn't feel that nice at the moment, fire energy here, definitely tons of wands energy. It's action oriented energy, passion, drive. All of this will be coming back to you. Six of wands you have here as well. So there's very successful and abundant energy around you, Libra. And soon you, you're going to grab that. You're going to feel that. And wish fulfillment. Amazing. Okay. Let me check out a Moonology Oracle card as well. And then we're going to move on to some Love Oracle cards. Libra, you got the... <laughs> you got the Libra card. New Moon in Libra, a new romantic cycle begins. Yeah, I can definitely see that for once Ace of Pentacles. Let's not forget about those cards, okay? So I can see if you're single and if you want to move on from this person... A new romantic cycle will begin, something which is balanced, somewhat, someone who is giving you um, the stability and the, the love that you deserve, as I said before. Okay, so we have this here again. Love this for you, Libra. Okay, let me check out some Island Time Wellness Love Oracle cards for you, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we have the axe break up separation stop the pattern silent treatment abandonment okay so i will put that up here we do have the three of swords in the beginning of your reading right and then we have healthy choices making healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care and being happier and i love seeing that for you you'll be coming out of this nasty Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands energy very, very soon. And you're going to meet somebody new. Or maybe you already know this person, but you've never been involved with them in a romantic relationship. Okay? We have Kisses, Unconditionally Loving, Giving, Receiving, Affection, and Falling in Love. And also the Love Call and the Soulmates. Look at that. We have Someone Expresses Love, A Message of Love, a Thinking of You, and Letting You Know, and Soulmates, Soul Connection, Partnership agreement and soul contract so i can definitely see this person um coming into your life as being a soulmate of yours okay and if you're like uh this is not about love for me definitely a friend can be your soulmate as well or a family member right we can have more than one soulmate are you kidding me oh my god <laughs> Sometimes it's crazy, right? With me and the Oracle cards. Soulmate, double soulmate. Look at that. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. This is so important for you guys. Oh my God. This is so magical, this reading. Definitely you'll meet your soulmate, Libra, okay? And you'll be so, so much more happy and loved. And you will just feel balanced out and, you know, the stability that they will bring and the commitment 
is something you've been wishing for here i can feel okay no more fighting no more feeling like you need to defend yourself no more lies no more secrets truth clarity commitment love quality that's what i'm getting here okay such an amazing reading i love this if you want to support me please leave a thumbs up libra leave a comment and of course please become a subscriber this would make my day libra bye i love y'all see you next time